The universe. Our study of the universe starts with what is infinite and eternal, not created and not destroyed. 1. Space. Three linearly independent dimensions. Space is empty, except for partially filled with matter. 2. Matter in space. In viscous, inelastic, and infinitely divisible. Matter is infinite in amount. The density of matter is finite. Any matter occupies its own space uniquely. 3. Motion of matter. The motion of matter is infinite. The density of the motion of matter is finite. All three are infinite and eternal. It is the 2nd of January, 2010. This morning on my walk, with thoughts of God, to me, God is everything. As Paul said, in Him we live and move and have our being. To me, they are what I operationally define as God, everything that exists, that is seen and unseen. As I walked this morning, as I've done since 1997, when I met one of the apostles of Luke chapter 10, who had done his work in Lithuania. No, we had gone to Latvia. The friend that went with me, we were teaching spoken English for the summer. He was another physics teacher from America. We were in Lithuania for the summer. George Nikolakopoulos. He asked this apostle, Bernard Manning, how many languages do you speak? Bernard's background, he was originally an engineer in Australia, but Bernard said he spoke 12. George asked him how many fluently. He said nine. George asked him, how do you learn a language? Bernard said two things. One, a good example, and two, repetition, repetition, repetition. What Bernard was saying was a good spoken example and repeating it over and over again. Might clarify that Bernard spoke nine languages like a native. When he said these two things, a good example, that means that his hearing part of the brain was receiving the information. And then to repeat it, the verbal operation and thinking about it involved two other areas of the brain were involved. I remember the brain physiology experiments where radioactive material was injected into the blood and the person was given tasks like math or drawing a picture or talking or whatever. And the area of the brain that was functioning, the blood vessels open up. So for the radioactivity going through, there would be more radioactivity in that area, in the part of the brain that was being used in that function then comparing the image with nothing happening to trying to speak or or solve a math problem or whatever the area involved in the process would light up would have more radiation in comparison to no brain activity so this i remember how i remember how terrible i felt when i saw someone stuttering it was like so much of their brain lit up gave uh, the sense of something traumatic. Anyway, when Bernard said these things, I realized that he was engaged in communicating with a number of different parts of his own brain. And ever since that time, I've used the practice of talking to God about my thoughts so I could hear my thoughts. To me, God is everything, not created, not destroyed. And there's nothing real outside of God. As Paul said on Mars Hill, in him we live and move and have our being. What we refer to as evil is part of God too. God is like a life form with cells, like us having a cancer. It may need cut out. In God there's good cells and bad cells, and a natural set of laws operating. At any rate, what is God's nature, I ask? And the answer I got 
had a number of basic parts that can be observed. The first is, God is a container. A container that can be observed from your point of view as having six infinite directions that can be traveled independently from your point of view. You can describe them as up, down, right, left, and back and forth. Another way to say is there are three axes. The up-down axis, the back-forth axis, and the right-left axis. And they extend from your point of view in their six directions. On to infinity. No end. And that's part one. So now, I told you why I speak openly to God during my walks. So the different parts of my brain are involved in the conversation and have that awareness. And second, I explained that God is an infinite container, can be described from your point of view by three linearly independent coordinates. Thank you.